I'm scrapping this old uh, gazelle bicycle and as you can see the uh, chain guard is already gone and this will be repurposed on my uh, favorite Union bicycle uh, the rest will probably end up in my scrap container except for the wheel uh, which will go onto my uh, my uncle's old gazelle bicycle that is uh, currently missing uh, third gear and I'm going to try and fix up this old Brooks leather saddle for the uh, same uh, bicycle although it isn't sitting all that great but I guess it's better than uh, no saddle at all it is also sagging a little bit in the middle here just like the back of an old horse and looking at the uh, texture it, uh, it is dried out and this thing has probably been standing outside for a lot of nights underneath here at the front there's some sort of fastener or a mechanism that allows you to tighten up the leather cover but that's kind of hard to work with now that the uh, saddle is still on the uh, bicycle so let's uh, remove this thing Here's that uh, mechanism I was talking about. And it's very hard to turn this nut. You probably need some sort of overly expensive special brook tool to work this nut. And I don't see any uh, way of turning, uh, turning the bolt. I was hoping I could use an Allen key at the front or at the uh, rear, but that's not the case. Here's a uh, brake line tool. And that does make things a little bit easier. But there seems to be a problem with, uh, with this bolt it is totally loose in the frame so um, my next step is to uh, remove the uh, leather cover with uh, these bolts at the rear and then uh, I should have access to the frame the, uh, the nuts under the springs here are kind of hard to uh, grab with a spare but I was uh, able to get them loose with this uh, brake line uh, tool so I guess uh, if you want to start working on uh, brook saddles you might consider buying a brake line tool Got it. I'll try and remove most of the dirt and uh, sand and cobwebs, and then I will uh, drench uh, this in grease. See if I can uh, loosen up the uh, leather a bit. Now you probably shouldn't start thinking uh, that I'm some sort of leather saddle whisperer. I'm just making this up as I go. Heck, I don't even like uh, leather saddles. They uh, need maintenance and uh, you gotta shield them from uh, the rain. And to be honest, I don't think they are sitting all that great. 
and that's probably because I never had a new one so it's a uh, so the saddles that I'm using weren't uh, molded by my eyes but they do look uh, nice and I guess uh, aesthetics and looks are important too well I think that is uh, clean enough so I have to choose uh, between two types of leather grease this one is clear or white it smells okay and this is leather cream and it is uh, brownish this one definitely smells better so I will put this stuff on the underside and later um, I will use some of, some of this stuff on the top I don't think this leather has uh, gotten some grease in years so I will use a uh, liberal amount now, I don't know if this is a common practice to put uh, leather grease on the underside I just thought it would be a good idea because it is uh, rather dry and I would like to stretch this a little bit so the uh, saddle will be less uh, sagging so I greased up the underside and lucky for me I don't have to sit on this because even with my oldest pair of overalls I'm not going to sit on this so next I'm going to uh, apply some heat so the grease can uh, soak into the leather and for this I'm using an old air dryer well I had enough of this uh, air dryer business it's not really my thing um, I try to melt the grease underneath the uh, metal parts as good as I could uh, get it but it still isn't perfect um, next I'll uh, put some of that uh, brown cream stuff on the top Perhaps I should have uh, cleaned the saddle before I uh, put this stuff on. But there's no way back now. This is uh, thinner than that uh, white stuff. Although the saddle is a bit warm, so that will uh, also help. Hmm. It uh, feels like most of that uh, stuff is uh, being soaked up by the leather. So. I will put on a little bit more. It feels like a moisturizer for leather. 
who makes this stuff? www.rapidebv.nl <laughs> Looks like a Dutch product. So now that the uh, saddle is enjoying its skin care product, let's have a look at that uh, frame. So here's the frame. And this bolt sits loose in there. And I'm surprised how much uh, these uh, two parts have uh, worn. I'll add in a close up. Not sure what I can do about that. I could try and uh, weld this piece. Onto, uh, onto this frame, or this part of the frame, but yeah, my welding sucks. So new plan that uh, involves no uh, welding. So this uh, bolt here is uh, being uh, pushed towards the front of the saddle when you uh, turn this nut, and that is uh, what uh, tightens up the uh, leather. This uh, nut here is the one that is terribly loose. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room underneath uh, this uh, push bolt. But I think I can install a uh, M8 uh, bolt if I grind off a little bit of the head. So, next I'm going to uh, I uh, use a metal hacksaw and uh, cut through the uh, this bolt. I'll be right back. So the hacksaw operation was a success. Although I had forgotten how bad uh, those chinesium hacksaw blades are. And I think my plan is going to work. There's just one problem. This hole is not going to fit an uh, M8 bolt, so I will have to drill that out. It is fitting on this part. And the head of the uh, bolt is also fitting inside here. And it shouldn't turn. So I just need to grind it down a little bit. So. Uh, the push bolt will still uh, fit over the uh, M8 bolt. I'll be right back after I did a little bit of uh, drilling. And this is what it looks like after a minute on the uh, Chinesium drill press. Uh, the drill did uh, get pushed to one side, so I had to use a, uh, a, a red file or a red tail file. Um, there's not a whole lot of material left and um, some of it has been uh, worn away probably because uh, it was loose all of those years on the plus side a uh, regular M8 does uh, fit and I do not uh, need to grind off some of the head because this uh, uh, push bolt still fits. And let's see if it is low enough. Well, I think this is going to work. A washer. And a uh, nylock nut. I'll uh, 
tighten it up later when I have reinstalled the uh, leather cover. But I think this uh, looks good. So next I need to put everything back together. And that will be a, a bit of a greasy struggle. So I'm not going to film that. Because there will be a cursing involved. So there must be a smarter way of reassembling a brook saddle. Because using a, a glue clamp like this to compress the springs doesn't leave enough room to use a spanner. I have not uh, loosened up uh, uh, the springs on the other side, but the uh, the whole saddle is uh, leaning towards uh, uh, the right or the left, depending on your uh, point of view. If I take it. So, how do I line out these uh, springs so the uh, saddle will be uh, nice and uh, symmetrical? I'm actually using a screwdriver to carefully turn the nuts. Lucky for me, the threads are still uh, in a good shape. I'm barely able to tighten up the nuts and uh, these uh, mounting brackets for a saddle bag well I guess I will have to force those uh, back in place with a hammer because I need uh, the room at the back for my uh, spanner I think this is a bad design or maybe I'm missing something I should have watched uh, some YouTube videos before I started uh, tearing this thing down I think something's wrong here it felt like the uh, nut was jumping back on the thread so I undid all of my uh, work to check uh, the thread on this uh, stud and I noticed that I was working with uh, two different uh, sized nuts they uh, are of different height turns out this nut is uh, English or Imperial and this one is a uh, metric M8 but uh, a metric does fit on this uh, stud although it is uh, rather loose so I've been looking in my collection of uh, old uh, nuts but so far I have not found anything that uh, fits uh, perfectly so yeah what should be an easy video is turning into a long struggle so this thread is a bit damaged but it is still usable with the uh, proper uh, English nut and I guess I will use a uh, metric lock nut on this stud I wouldn't even know where I could uh, get a uh, English nut they have been out of style since uh, powdered wigs. An old uh, used uh, nylock. Well, it does feel better than the uh, nut I was using before. I guess uh, that's just my luck. If I didn't like uh, Brook saddles, I now hate them. So I reinstalled the uh, nuts, uh, Imperial Metric. It's uh, not pretty, but it works. And uh, this stud, or the nut on this stud, 
wasn't skipping on the thread. So I'm happy with the result. And I also managed to hammer these uh, mounting brackets for the saddlebag back into place. So now I can try out my uh, improvement. First a bit of lubrication. Or rust prevention. And now I'm going to tighten up this uh, nullock nut. And next I can try and put some more um, uh, tension on the leather cover. Yeah, that's not going to fit. In my opinion, these uh, Brook saddles are a design nightmare. Or maybe I also need a English uh, spanner for this. But I'm using a 30 millimeter metric spanner. A bit more, maybe I can tear the uh, leather. So I think it uh, looks better and it also feels better, no more uh, rattling. Um, I should probably uh, polish this with a uh, cloth and uh, then maybe uh, test ride it, but yeah, not tonight because it's raining and it is getting dark. Besides, I don't have a uh, bicycle that is uh, <laughs> working. Or maybe I could try it on the uh, Chinese bicycle. And here you can see the Brook saddle mounted onto my uh, Union bicycle that uh, still doesn't have a uh, chain guard or a chain. But it still has a flat tire. And I will say it looks uh, kind of smart after that uh, grease job and I don't mind this uh, bolt sticking out underneath her. It uh, well, kind of makes it my own. Um, I guess I wish I could go for a test ride but it is pissing outside. We're getting a whole lot of rain. Um, tomorrow I'll try to uh, mount this onto my uh, Chinese bicycle and then if the weather permits I'll take it out for a test ride and uh, see if my uh, ass likes the result. But I will put a plastic bag on here. I don't want to ruin my overalls. Well, I will continue with this uh, tomorrow. One more look from behind. But uh, yeah, without my ass. Maybe tomorrow. Good morning. Let's replace the saddle on the Chinese bicycle and make it look pretty. Well, it's not the same color as uh, this saddle, but it does look the part. It is still a bit sticky, and I don't want to ruin my overalls. So here's that rare commodity called the plastic bag. Let's see if I can uh, climb onto this thing without falling off. It is uh, definitely not as much uh, sagging.
Oh. I think my ass likes it. And uh, it is definitely not uh, sagging as much as before. So uh, it's time to test this thing. Ah, stupid stand! A zip tie will uh, prevent the stand from becoming uh, loose. All right, let's uh, drive through a few puddles because it was raining hard last night. Although the sun is uh, shining at the moment and the wind isn't too bad, it is uh, still very cold. Plenty of uh, mud puddles. I still don't like this handlebar. I think uh, the saddle is an improvement on how it was before, but I'll take a longer ride and uh, then my ass can make up its mind. I have the telephone line now. Broke because of an excavator. But it took a few days. All right, I'll bring the camera home and uh, take the bicycle out for a ride. The saddle is definitely good enough. It just needs a uh, slight height adjustment. Well, at least it is fitting a regular kickstand. Well, that's installed. Hopefully it's not too uh, long or too short. I almost forgot to change the height of the saddle. That's tight. And this takes a 14 millimeter spanner, which is annoying because normally it's always 13. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. And I will take this with me when I uh, go for my ride. And back goes the baggie. My ass will be safe. Here's another reason why I don't like this uh, stand. It's really in the way of uh, this uh, bag. And I cannot really move it forward because of the bent in this uh, rack. And at this position I will probably kick it with my uh, clogs. So this totally sucks. The stand is mounted with a uh, rivet instead of a bolt, so I cannot quickly remove it. Well, I could quickly remove it with an angle grinder, but I cannot do it without uh, destruction. So I guess I will not bring my uh, bag or camera. Cycling around the camera. And I will not use the uh, kickstand because then the frame will tip over. Uh, and as you can see, I lost my plastic bag somewhere along the way. Uh, the wind has picked up a bit. So uh, let's uh, continue this uh, happy lock inside the barn. But first, I need to uh, clean up a little. As you can see, I cut up this gazelle frame. 
that used to be underneath that brook saddle. I was uh, interested in this uh, bottom bracket. But I will do a little bit more uh, grinding so it will all fit into my uh, metal container. Alright, I will put this all away so I can bring in that uh, Chinese bicycle. A little scrap of wood put underneath the kickstand. There she is. Well, I uh, messed up that previous shot because the saddle wasn't in frame. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that uh, I lost that plastic bag. It uh, must have happened when I uh, adjusted the saddle height. Um, I, uh, I took a bike ride for about 15 kilometers. And the saddle wasn't the problem, although I still uh, prefer this uh, Chinese saddle that used to be uh, on the bicycle. But this, uh, but this one looks better. Um, tightening up this uh, leather cover helped a bit, and later on I might, uh, I might tighten it up a little bit more. But first I will. Uh, uh, leave the uh, grease to do its uh, job before I put more tension on this but uh, yeah my modification definitely was an uh, improvement all right I think uh, this video is more than long enough when I started I planned uh, to make this a 10 minute video but I think uh, it's almost 25 or 30 minutes now We'll see uh, what the uh, final uh, length will be. Alright, to be continued because I do have another uh, video uh, in the works. About that bottom bracket that I cut out of uh, that uh, gazelle frame. So I just uh, put on some more moisturizing cream. Because well, it will probably take a while till I need to settle again. Because the Union bicycle is uh, far from uh, finished. And I will put this thing back on the uh, Chinese ride. And it's probably a good idea to also uh, put some grease onto my uh, other Brooks saddles. I never done that. Neither did I ever tension those saddles. But uh, yeah. I also do not use those bicycles. Alright, I will uh, let it soak for a while and uh, then I will replace the saddle again.